Okay, another thing a lot of people really like to do with their Android phones is to root them. To root them basically means to get access to your whole phone. And this works really easy on the Galaxy Tab. To root it, you just go to the market and download the Z4 root. All right? This is developed by some smart people from the XDA forums. They are really crazy people over there and it's super easy. You basically get these two options, temporary root or permanent root. You just go for whatever you feel like. Um, I root that temp no, permanently now. And then it runs and does everything for you. And it works really fine on the Galaxy Tab. So, you know, you don't have to really worry. You don't have to get too much into the details of how to do all this. Um, it simply works. It's rebooting and should have now a permanent root. And routing, you know, offers you a couple of advantages. Um, you can customize the system even more. I don't really use this because I already think the out-of-the-box capabilities for customizing Android are pretty good. But um, you could do that. And there's some other like handy little things that you can do with a router device. I'm gonna show you a little bit about this in a second. Okay, there we go. Alright, the launcher just <laughs> restarted. Okay, but now things should work out. Okay, here we go. Um, and one of the major apps pretty much probably everybody who has a rooted phone has on their phone is Titanium Backup. This program allows you to backup all your applications. So and all your settings. So that means if you completely wipe your phone, completely get rid of all the stuff on there, you can still reset everything easily, all right? With other things like Astro, for example, the file manager, you can back up your apps, but you know, not all the settings and all the customizations and all that stuff. So you go here and usually with a batch operation, you can just have a couple of choices here and you can just back up all user apps and so on. You can also upload them if you pay for the donate version. You can upload them to Dropbox for example to have an online backup of all your stuff. Pretty nice. I think it's a great application. Um, another thing is this APK upload for root. This is pretty handy if you have your own web server for example. You can have your own little backup space there. But right now, this application is probably actually forced closing. It's a bit unstable, I have to say. Let's see. Okay, I mean, if you want to get that going, okay, it's now not forced closing, which is cool. Usually, it force closes on me like two, three times before it really works. But anyway, here you can just select the applications you want to upload and upload them and you know along with that like a little text file is uploaded that has a little bit info like a version history but one feature that I'm missing so far is there's no real like synchronization so if you upload files again or files get updated you can actually set that they da -da -da -da, settings you can set that they get automatically uploaded. But if that happens, so for example, you have an, an Android market, there are some updates available, and you know you update all your apps, and then they automatically get uploaded. They just get thrown again on the web space without like overwriting the old applications. So you have just a lot of applications sooner or later on your web space. So that's maybe a little bit a little drawback but you know that's not too bad in my opinion